Hello there, my name is Chris Seco and welcome back. Today we're going to take a detailed look at the slicer tool within the little tiles mod, going over the basics of how to use it with a few examples to give you guys some inspiration in your own builds. The slicer tool can be accessed by pressing the configure key while holding the chisel in your hand. You can also select your block type from the same menu too. This option can be found in your controls here, and I have mine set to I, but obviously set yours to whatever. Once you have the chisel with the slicer tool selected, you should see a small preview like this, which you can also use your arrow keys to rotate. Using the slicer is relatively easy to start with, simply right click the exact spot you want to start building from, then using the drag box to highlight where to place and what shape you want, simply right click again to create your shape. Already you can see the improvements compared to how I'd usually achieve a similar effect using normal methods. You can also apply this to curves, and while there's no way to actually get a completely smooth curve, again you can see how much smoother this does look in comparison. Now. A couple of things to point out that I initially thought of, outside corners like these are pretty much impossible to do since we only have a slope to work with. I also tried to see if I could overlap layers in order to create an inside corner. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to allow us to do that either. So we can see there are a few minor restrictions, but there's also a lot we can do with what we have. One of the first ideas that may come to your mind would be a simple sloped roof, and you can see how we would usually go about doing that using stair blocks, but instead using the slicer tool here and here, we have created a perfectly sloped roof. Well, except the underside. For this reason, my suggestion is to work on a block by block basis, creating the desired shape first and then Crouch middle click to copy the whole little tiles block so you can then place it freely, which avoids the problem of filling in unwanted blocks below. So, with some basics out of the way, let's move on to some building examples. Firstly, this vent. Pretty simple to build, but it really shows off how you can use those angles in a rather simple manner to get something that much more detailed. Next, since I do a lot of modern house style builds, I wanted to try and incorporate the slicer with that in mind. Having slanted large blinds like this built directly into the wall would look awesome in some of the modern houses I've built so far, so I definitely want to include this going forward, especially when you can do this. Let me know if you want to see a tutorial on how to animate blocks down below. Next up, here we have a simple fence, but by adding that diagonal beam, it ends up looking just that bit more realistic. Sticking with the same theme, I wanted to see if I could build a tileable wall using the slicer. And this is a great example of how you can use different gradients of slope to get a really nice effect. And you can even tile these out in various different patterns too. Another cool thing was as long as your builds don't intersect, you can actually place two slopes within the same like little tiny block. This helps immensely when filling in those awkward angles underneath roofs like this, not to mention how these small additions can really ramp up the level of detail you can achieve in your overall build. Hell, you could even frame out the entire of your buildings if you wanted don't suggest you do though, otherwise you'd probably be there for a while. Anyway, I could go on and on, but I think you guys get the idea. With more little tiles builds and tutorials coming in the future, hit that subscribe button and thank you for watching.